Hey! Sorry. Look at this here. Hey guys. So here's what we're working on. I'll show you. So person five fires a medium for a day. Right? And ride it. So I had bloqué. I'm gonna come back with this hand, the hand I blocked with first. Lunge, three punches, and then two kicks. If he throws the other leg, same thing, two kicks. So I ride it. This hand punches wherever you want, cross, across, and two kicks. On the other side, this one, one, two, three, and you go. Okay? Okay. Good. So remember, in Boxel says the, the the idea is to touch without being touched. So this takes same time. This is okay, but I'm getting touched, right? I'm not. So what we're gonna work now is kind of chassé, but we're gonna scoop it. So either way, whether it's that leg or the other leg, I just suck my my midsection back and I scoop. So it's gonna work like this. I go one, whoop. I'm gonna kick here, and then I've got options. I can kick low. I can kick middle or I can kick high. So we'll kind of work forward that. So basically simple, look, one, two, okay? If you go to the other side, loop it, one, and two. Just back and forth, nice okay? Just, yes, So let's just review the lead low chasse, the chasse bas. Um, super, super effective pick. Um, you can use it offensively or defensively. In this case, we're going to use it offensively. So I'm going to be moving from here. Try So there's a couple ways to do it, right? We can do a cross step chasse bas where I step across and step behind. It's good. That's kind of for blue glove. That's what you do right here. And then you come into it. The challenge with that is they're seeing a lot of footwork there ahead of time. So you're kind of telegraphing a little bit. Another option is the hop, right? So from here, I'm shuffling, I just pop it up, I pop it as I as I do it. Remember to bring that knee up almost like you're coming over a chair or something here. Okay? And as I extend. Bend your supporting leg here. So I'm bending that supporting leg, dropping my weight into the kick. That also increases my reach, my distance. Okay. You don't want to end up falling forward. You want to bounce into them and you know, lift that leg back off. Hands up the whole time. We'll start just back and forth with that. If you want, you put the glove down as a target. He pops it in. He puts the glove down. I pop it in. Just like that. And then we'll start to build off of that. Okay. Okay, so let's go on this. We'll do a couple options off of here. This is where Brian's been working. <laughs> good. Uh, okay, so the first thing we'll do is the second move that we'll use, we'll throw across. So if I actually am good with this low chest, a lot of times you can set it up with like a fake jab or something like that, where you, you go here and then pop, pop in. If I hit him with this, a lot of times we we'll straighten out that leg and the head comes forward slightly. So I'm going to take advantage of that with my cross. Boom, cross from here. Okay, now because my weight is already off of this leg, basically, it's about 80-20, and my head's over here, I'm going to move my head this way. And now I'm going to throw a head up on top here. Okay, so it's one, two, step, here. Head up on top. Okay, again, slow. One, two. Yeah. So remember, this have out one thousand thrown at punching range, right? So right now, I'll be able to hit right in the ear. Boom. It's like that. On that have out remember, straight leg and point those toes because you're using your foot inside of your shoe, right? As opposed to if I was barefoot, curling the toes back and hitting it because I'm wearing notional shoes right now. I'm, I'm pointing the toe. Okay? So, one. Two, step. There. Got it? All right, try to. Shot. Oh, man. Yeah. 
almost like a quick change of direction. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One, two. Yeah, it's disturbing. It's disturbing. <laughs> it's disturbing. Hey guys, just one little pointer on this. I didn't point out when I was teaching it, but watch when I, I'll change direction here. So when I come in here, one, two, my head's, I could throw the cross with my head right here. So I can do the whole combo with my head basically here, right? But that's less confusing for him, way easier for him to hit me back. So in this case, I'm going here, when I throw the cross, I'm doing an offline cross here. So my head's over here. Then I quickly change direction this way, right? So if I do it fairly quickly, one, two, three, and then okay. Moving out of the volume a little bit. 